Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BSV TV. I'm your host, Sir Toshi, and on this show, we'll be defending the one and only truly genuine Bitcoin. The Bitcoin that Satoshi Nakamoto designed in his white paper as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system for the world. Let's get the disclaimers out of the way. So all the statements that you hear on this show are opinion and must only ever be taken as opinion. They are never to be taken as any form of advice, family, financial, sexual or otherwise. And on that note, let's sit back, relax, have some fun and enjoy the show. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and set your own fee on Streamanity. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I wasn't asked why I'm convinced. Craig is Satoshi. Um, I posted on, on Reddit. He signed in my presence uh, the private using the private key from block one, block number one, the very first mined Bitcoin block uh, on a computer that I'm convinced had not been tampered with, on software I'm convinced that had not been tampered with, a message of my choosing. At Enchain, we've just funded a number of universities doing, so far, a test up to one gigabyte because it validates what we've already done independently. We've tested up to 380 gigabyte blocks. We have tested 1 million transactions a second and transaction sizes up to 20 megabytes. Super complex scripts, basically ones that can run operating systems. That's all of global commerce times about 50. On top of that, we can have complex scripts. On top of that, we can scale each of those transactions 1,000 times, which effectively means about a billion transactions per second, which means we can then have all derivatives, all complex trades. That means high frequency trading. It means everything that happens globally. Is the market that effectively BSV is going for, is that global e-commerce, which is currently valued at $29 trillion? No, that's just more. Buy and sell Bitcoin instantly at bsvgravity.com. And you can now book and pay for your winter holiday at skibsv.com. Good afternoon, everybody. It looks like I got it right this time. I love it when a show comes together. Started at almost like bang on five o'clock and it looks like we are in the green. Kilobytes per second, frames dropped. CPU's looking good. We are in the green, off to the races. So if anybody knew who's listening to my show, the reason we broadcast on Twitch is because YouTube already banned two of my channels. Uh, then they were preventing me from editing my shows. Then they were deleting episodes. And I was just like, you know what? This is everything that's wrong with big tech. So now we broadcast live at five every day on uh, Twitch TV. Go to www.twitch.tv forward slash Satoshi TV. Live at five every day from wherever I am in the world. I'd like to give as many people as I can the opportunity to catch my show for free because then we'll upload the uh, trailer onto YouTube and then upload the full episode onto Streamanity where you can set your own fee according to how you judge the quality. All right, rock and roll. Let's go on with this uh, little introduction then with my uh, little picture here. So, uh, as a, just because I... Uh, like to be efficient, we're just going to allow other people to uh, describe uh, Bitcoin for us. So uh, we want to bring up these uh, show videos. Check it out. This is Michael Saylor telling us how much he loves Bitcoin. Or what was uh, the best voice to use? Love big, big, big blocks on the blockchain. <laughs> Here we go, Michael. Take it away. Rock and roll. I like Bitcoin the way it is. In fact, in fact, I love Bitcoin the way it is. And um, the way it's currently constructed, it is possible to put all $250 trillion of monetary energy in big blocks of encrypted energy on the blockchain. Maybe the Bitcoin will be a million, you can probably calculate $10 million of Bitcoin or something. Big blocks. $100 million chunks on the blockchain. It'll store all the monetary energy in the world, and it should store it for the next 100 years without losing any of it.
Oh, there we go. Back in business. I was just about to say uh, thank you very much for that, Michael. <laughs> Gr cracking introduction there. Probably uh, better than uh, I could do myself. But uh, now we're just going to have a, a quick listen to uh, Samson Mao describing how Blockstream control BTC and have crashed its fundamental value to zero. Samson Mao, take it away. Bitcoin was created by, by the central bankers that enslave you today. It is their scapegoat. <laughs> how, do you want, how do you answer those, Max and Stacey? I think the evidence is clear that uh, they do not control it. It, it. There's 10 years, almost 11 years now of a uh, track record. Yeah, yeah. Blockstream I mean, controls they, they, it. I'm sorry, go ahead. Who does? Blockstream. And the truth shall set you free. <laughs> Thank you for that, Samson. I know that shit corners wouldn't understand the significance of that, but uh, this show isn't really for shit corners. And I, I know that shit corners aren't listening. So uh, like, here we go. So uh, something else you need to understand is that uh, if a system is anonymous, there is nobody holding the creator of that system to account, which means it is centrally controlled and therefore fundamentally worthless. So uh, let's just have a listen to uh, Roger Ver getting really excited about uh, telling everybody how B Crash is fundamentally worthless. Take the floor, Roger. Here we go. I have a question here from Sertoshi, defender of Bitcoin. He said, if a cryptocurrency is anonymous, like BCH, I don't think BCH is anonymous, but maybe there is something. Check out cashfusion.com and, and you, you combine oh. that with uh, reusable payment codes and you get Bitcoin Cash in the same sort of ballpark of privacy as Monero. It's really awesome. So you can check oh, okay. out Cash Fusion. And I always get it wrong. I think it's .com, but it might be .org. So you can check both. Cashfusion.com. There we go, people. That's why B Crash is really awesome. Because it is fundamentally worth jack shit. And uh, if you wonder why I call it B Crash, it's because Roger calls it B Crash himself. Have a listen. Go use your Visa card. And we're going to really spread Bitcoin crash across the entire country here in Antigua. Yeah. Good luck with that, Roger. <laughs> so let's just have a look at this uh, coin crap market quickly. Uh, let's just bring this. Uh, oh, come on, come on. Let's, let's find it. I know it's around here somewhere. I, I've always got it to hand. Just have a, uh, let's bring this up. So again, I mean, just because like more and more people are going to be watching this and you're tuning in. Asking questions, you know, we need to uh, show them the truth, as it were, expose it. The reason they're called shitcoins is because they are securities. If they are securities, they can never be used as money, because money has to be a commodity. Which, uh, as a commodity, it means it cannot be centrally controlled. Which is why Satoshi Nakamoto knew that shitcoiners and criminals were going to tamper with it. But when you tamper with it, you debase it. <laughs> when you debase it, you crash its fundamental value to zero. And to show you that I'm actually telling the truth, and I'm, I'm not biased, this is factual, anybody who listens to my show knows how much I detest Litecoin and what Charlie Lee did to it by exit scamming it. But I, as you can see on here, I have not got it listed as a shitcoin because it is a commodity. Charlie Lee discredits the centralized starting point. That's the only thing that discredits it, but it doesn't mean it's not a commodity, which is why it pains me to say this. But because he started it and he, uh, he knew that he discredited it, uh, he didn't have any expectations of his project. So uh, let's just have a listen to him admitting this uh, in his interview. Take the floor, Charlie. You created Litecoin, right? So this has to be something like you're incredibly passionate about. Yeah, as most of you probably know, um, I kind of created it just for fun, right? It wasn't, I didn't really expect it to become anything. No, we didn't know, but we do now. Thanks, Charlie. A little bit late. Uh, but anyway, let's just remind ourselves. What is it that shitcoiners say? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> And finally, let's have uh, Satoshi Nakamoto describing his expectations of his own creation, that is Bitcoin. Take the floor, Craig. At the end of the day, we own a lot of Bitcoin. The simple thing is, if we make the network scale, 
we make it bigger. My main compensation, more than anything anyone could ever pay me, is the price of Bitcoin goes up. So that's my pure drive. I want Bitcoin not to go up to 10,000 or 100,000. I want it to be worth millions per Bitcoin. That's it. And that's what we spend money for. Very simple. There we go. That's what we spend money for. <clears throat> Very simple. I want Bitcoin to be worth millions. And as we heard uh, in that interview yesterday, that chump from uh, Reimagine goes, Craig, did you, did you honestly expect your Bitcoin to be like 35K? Like, really? Really? <laughs> and that, we've just listened to Craig talking there back in, uh, where well, was in Tokyo, back in 2017. You know, honestly, these shitcoiners have no clue you know, about the uh, potential that Bitcoin has got and the size that Craig has got in mind for this thing. And like I said, he has basically commoditized light. So think about how fast light can move, the cost of light, like literally, it is the fastest, the cheapest form of commodity that could ever exist. And it's that efficiency that is actually going to make it the most valuable, Oh yeah, the most valuable thing on earth. It's just, it's just amazing what's, uh, what's about to happen. So I've got a few videos that I want to go through today, which is just fascinating because it was about the uh, the network of uh, of Bitcoin and how it is going to be the new internet. I didn't actually realize or know how the current internet was run. Obviously, Craig knew this, and as soon as I saw it, I was just like, oh, like I was just like, oh, oh, that's amazing. Like I didn't know that, and I was just like. That's why Craig has created Bitcoin. He knows this already. Like, God, he's just so far down the track. Like, it's not even funny. Like, literally, I have to, I have to sometimes hang my own head in shame. I'm just like, oh, God, like, you know, I just don't know anything in comparison to him. It's just, uh, it's just amazing. Uh, so, yeah, let's just uh, jump into these figures. Haven't seen these today. Let's find out what's going on. What is the goss? What is going down, uh, as they say, when uh, Max on when my computer wants to work for me? Come on, let's bring it up. Coin dot dance is the uh, is the website that we want. Just watching my cursor go round and round and round, as a uh, Diana Ross would uh, be singing. <sighs> Should I just wait? Should I entertain you? Come on, live show here, Max Thorn. Or should I be shouting at my computer? You know, no, uh, no pressure. Got listeners listening. Come on, let's do this. Hurry up, <claps> chop, chop. Ah, oh, am I gonna have to refresh this? Seriously. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Had your chance, you lost it. See you later. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my internet's good. Oh, what is this? What sorcery is this that it's not working? Come on, like I've got good signal here. Uh, everything else is working well. Seriously? Seriously? Do I have to find this on Google or something? Right, there we go. Right, come on, let's go to the homepage then. What's this? Is it a, is it a conspiracy that they've taken Coin Dance down because they don't want anybody to know the truth or see the truth of these figures? Come on, it's an integral part of my show. Come on, come on. What is going on? How many times have I got to click this? Ah. Oh. Right, we'll come back to it then. We're just going to leave that one. All right, Bitcoin blocks live. Let's, there we go. Look, oh, some action there. Finally. All uh, right, okay. For any newbies, oh look, it looks like the transactions per second have picked up slightly. So uh, yeah, for any newbies who are watching this show, well, this is uh, the blockchain working live in front of our eyes. Oh, I've just seen a, a 50.3 megabyte block has caught my eye uh, down the bottom there. Um, <laughs> like from out of nowhere uh, but these are the transactions being broadcast to the network across the top once those transactions are 
are picked up and recognized by more than 50% of the nodes, that traction, that transaction is then no longer reversible. That is it. This is why we call it instant confirmation. 50% of the nodes on the network validate that transaction. You can see the transaction ID, the input, the output, the type, and the op return. The transaction is then placed in the mean pool where it is competed for by the miners and processors who then compete to store it in a, or put it in a block and store the block on the blockchain where it is stored forever. But that's just storage. That is just simply the storage. The transaction and all the information within the traction, transaction already exists within that instant confirmation. This is like the narrative that shit corners don't want you to believe. That you can actually have instant confirmation. And they're like, no, we're going to have this replaced by fee where uh, you're going to have to pay more if you want your transaction to go ahead in the queue. I mean, it's such a load of bollocks. Uh, we've already seen that the, a double spend uh, was done on the 21st of January. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, at uh, 20, 21, 21 for a price of $21, you know, uh, in the 21st century. <laughs> and again, I shit corners, it is so stupid. Uh, it didn't even affect the price. But we saw that uh, Compound, uh, whose uh, devs exit scammed the entire uh, Compound pool. Even that is shooting up now. The market's going on, honestly, the level of dumbness that's in the market now is just absolutely like on like beyond what I ever imagined would be. But it just makes me think like I just stay away from those dumb people. Literally, just they are dangerous because they are dumb and they're dumb because they are inconsiderate. They're just literally thinking about themselves. Oh, what can I do to get money? Oh, I'll, 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 uh, I'll go along with this other uh, shit bag who's invested in this load of shit and we'll, uh, we'll dump on a whole load of other people instead. That's literally all it is. Pump and dump arseholes is, uh, is what they are. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, let's have a quick look at this uh, at a coin crap chart just to prove that I'm uh, not making it up. I mean, this is absolutely hilarious. Like, you've got to see it to believe it. I mean, look, all in the green there. I mean, Cardano, absolutely hilarious. Like, another pump and dump. Like, Input Output Hong Kong are the only company that mine Cardano. Cardano did an, an ICO, an initial coin offering. It is absolutely a security. Uh, Charles Hoskinson exit scammed the shit out of it. And you've got shit coiners still buying it. And again, it's like, oh, we've got Gogan and we've got Shelly, and we've got everything else. All these things. It's absolute bollocks. They do absolutely effing nothing. Like nothing. Um, Doge is up there. I mean, like Aave as well, like another DeFi platform. Oh my god, I mean, like, honestly. I mean, let's just see if we... Hey, look, Compound, look. Compound at 26 in the entire coin. This is why I call it coin crap. Like, honestly, it is just absolutely insane. Like, because people don't understand Bitcoin. They think Bitcoin is like, you know, uh, a load of hocus pocus, jiggery pokery. Oh, a number go up, but uh, it's just amazing, you know, and all this bullshit that they, they, they spin on it. Because that's all it is, it's spin. Like stuff, people, they have no idea about the fundamentals of it. You know, because if they did have a clue about the fundamentals of it, it would be worth absolutely jack shit because its speculative price would match its fundamental value at absolute zero because that's what it's worth. Effing nothing. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, it's, um, it's just made me realize that previously these shit coiners with shit for brains were probably working in the shadows. You know, um, they might have some kind of, you know, dead end jobs. Well, we're yeah, probably, because I mean, they're not really capable of doing anything else. <clears throat> because I mean, literally just unbelievably selfish, you know, which is really, really stupid, you know, in, in the long run, you know, and, uh, and now we're seeing it. They've like, now they're stuck at home, they flooded into the market and it's just like, wow, I don't want anything to do with you. Like nothing. That's why I just literally block all of them. Block, I don't want, literally, they'll just infect your mind, pollute it with the shit that's going around in their heads. You know, um, as Kurt Wattuck said in the um, show yesterday, where uh, the uh, Queen Geek Live, uh, the uh, Genesis uh, year anniversary, he said, you know, he's had more fun, you know, since being in the BSV community in the, you know, society than he's had uh, ever in, like, you know, uh, Bitcoin Cash or, you know, Big Crash or you know, a core coin and all that, because they're absolutely delusional. 
all they're talking about is how be- how good they are and how much better they are. And it's just like, it's complete ego because there's no understanding behind it. Like, absolutely insane, you know? And it's all about just keeping up the pretense. You know, it's almost like religion, you know? That's why anybody who, uh, you know, I mean, that's why, what is it? Muslims have, uh, what is it? Um, uh, whatever it is when you leave their religion, if you if you convert and then go back, you know, you're... Uh, you you qualify for um, execution, and uh, Christians as well. You know, uh, you reject you from the church of what are you a blaspheme or whatever. I mean, it's the same shit. You know, you, all you've got to do is believe their shit. It's the same with all these shit coiners. You know, human beings are just the same. You know, but what I would say is just cut out all of those assholes from your life and just surround yourself because you become who you hang around with. You know, as they say, sort of, uh, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Um, yeah, that's, so that that's how I uh, how I live my life at the moment. Looks like coin dance. Oh, what? Hey! Got some colours now. Right, again, I'm not interested in these shit coins. I'm only focusing on Bitcoin here. So Bitcoin's currently got to 2.2% of the hash rate. Uh, network nodes, though, 3%. Transactions, 32%. And uh, block size, 49.4%. Let's just play a uh, spot the biggest block on B crash. You can see a, a 1.9. Is that it? Oh no, you got 2.3. Well done. Oh no, 4.7. <laughs> yeah, I'm congratulating them. You know, hear the uh, sarcasm in my voice. And uh, Michael Saylor, if you are wanting your big blocks on the blockchain, uh, they ain't coming, mate. <laughs> I guess. They've got a one megabyte restriction. If you haven't heard what their narrative is, like, dear, oh dear. Anyway, let's have a look at Bitcoin. Look at this. Tal absolutely chomping away at these blocks. they got a 9.7, a 16.6. I think there should be a 50 megabyte block that we just saw on Bitcoin Blocks Live. Uh, is that there? Oh, I know. So uh, let's have a quick look at more detail when these blocks were. See when that block was mined. Oh, come on, seriously. How long are you going to take this time? Ugh. Like, I'm not going to wait all the time for the page to uh, load. This is ridiculous. Ugh. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You lose. Right, I'm not going to bother looking at that then. Oh, come on, coin dance. Bring up the rest of these charts for us. Have a quick look at this. So we do the ones that haven't loaded in while we're here. Look at this. It is currently uh, 60,000 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin. Yeah, but it is currently 9.3% more profitable to mine on Core Coin. Uh, just because, like, yeah, number go up and all that crap. And uh, seriously, coin dance? Like, yeah, what? What? I want to look at these statistics. What on earth is going on here? Refresh that page. Is it just going to go round, round again? <sighs> this is uh, immensely frustrating because uh, I want to have a look at these figures. I need, I generally only tend to like look at these figures like once a day when I'm doing the show, which is why I want to see them. Come on, come on. Because uh, we know that they are, these figures are going to massively change one day. We don't know when, you know, but we've got an idea. But uh, I mean, talking about talking about ideas, uh, I'll right, leave that one loaded then. I'm fed up with that. <laughs> um, right, check this out. Uh, this is a great post here by uh, Crypto Rebel. More great news here. Uh, check this out. So it says uh, the UK High Court has set a trial date for the Wright versus McCormack libel case. The trial will begin on February 16th. So that is 11 days away. Oh yeah, in just just 12 days. Um, Should we have a quick look at this article then? Which one is this? Uh, So that was back on 8th of December, all right, so. Oh, thank you, Coindance, a little bit late. But but anyway, my my point here is look, look at this date. Right, see how that says February sixteenth, and uh, and we and we know that uh, obviously CSW is a bit of a stickler for dates. And what I so see, 
you've got to basically join the dots. And again, I might be wrong here, but 16th of February, now take a load of this date. You know, um, town loan, December 17th. Oh, there we go. Here it is. So, uh, yeah, Vancouver, Aiden, uh, um, looking for dates here. Come on, come on, come on. What was this? So, any, anyway, so date here, except, uh, December 18th. Um, so this is uh, Vancouver, BC, British Columbia, December 18th. Tau distribution information technologies, uh, blockchain infrastructure, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, blockchain infrastructure and service provider he is pleased to announce that it has entered into a loan agreement. The note with Wright International Limited, an entity wholly owned by Craig Wright, advisor to the uh, company, uh, providing for uh, debt finances in an aggregated principal amount of uh, seven million dollars. The lender has made an initial advance under the uh, note. In an, in, uh, in an amount equal to uh, our $3.5 million uh, in the form of uh, BSV. The note provided the lender will make further advances uh, of uh, uh, $3.5 million uh, on January the 29th, 2021. Uh, the note is uh, unsecured. Blah, 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 blah. So anyway, uh, I think possibly, uh, I mean, what, January 29th. So we're already now uh, February 5th. But... What I'm saying is, um, this was reported, what, on uh, December the 17th? Let me, let me just uh, refresh my memory. Uh, I've got to go to, uh, got to find Canada, Canada chat group here. Mm -hmm. Come on, Canada, you, we can find you, come on. There we go, oh no, 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 that's uh, Sylvian Couture. That's the Canada Canadian chat. Here we go. And Jerome Klich is was, was what I'm looking at. So it was uh, he was the one that first reported. Uh, I'm sure it was December the 17th. Um, around that date, quite a lot of uh, good info here. Mm. Might have to resend this to myself. So it would have been uh, December 17th was the was the tweet. Let's have a quick look. Jam, come on, 21st. We'll find this, we'll find this. Come on, come on. Let's get there. Down the bottom, Jan 14th, come on. There we go, Jan 10. Five days at a time, around here somewhere. December 27th, I'm sure it was December 17th. Here we go, right, December 16th, December 18th. There we go, there, there we go, got it. <clears throat> On December 17th, 2020, the issuer entered into a loan agreement, the note, with Wright International Investments Limited, the lender. So, uh, I'll send that to myself. Thank you, Nyo. Money wants to work. Come on, Twitter. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, finally. Send. Have I got that now? So my, my anyway, my, my point is, like this, this um, happened on December the 17th. And as I've said before, you know, a reasonable amount of time uh, has to have elapsed, um, you know, so that it doesn't look like, you know, insider dealing, so that people could have a chance to sort of like, find out um, about this loan um, being made um, before, you know, anything really can be done about it. So we've got December 17th and then the Cormac case on February 16th. That is two months to the day since that loan was made, you know. Um, so again, I'm not suggesting anything, <laughs> but just, just kind of like understand what I'm saying, like read between the lines. That's your uh, that's your two month that's your two month period up, just as the uh, that libel case is starting. Yeah, 
I mean, it's massive. And uh, uh, do we do we need to remind ourselves of? Uh, oh, there we go. C check it out. This is brilliant. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, so it was actually it was in the article anyway. Um, they actually had a link to it. There we go. It was a CoinGeek article. Just to remind ourselves what happened. Is it still there? This might this might be the link to it. Oh no! No! He might <laughs> he's blocked me. Ah! Oh. Well, P, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Shows that you're paying attention to me. I luckily I screenshotted that bad boy anyway. Ha <laughs> So let's uh, let's just bring this up. Going to send it to myself so we can all see it. Um, down below, it would have been like around December time. Going to find this. Mm -hmm. Just looking through my uh, library of images here. Just give me uh, a couple of secs. Uh, this is... Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hold on. That wasn't him. Hold on. Uh, oh, I've got Cobby's... Uh, Cobby's tweets there. Hold on, just gotta find uh, find PMAC. I know you're around here somewhere. Oh, would you believe it? <laughs> Boom, come on, how big is this image? Oh, there we go, great stuff. Craig Wright submitted a crazy amount of evidence that he is Satoshi in my lawsuit. What's your point? <laughs> Honestly, like the level of dumbness is just like something I've never experienced before in my entire life. But um, so these are the things that we've got we've got coming. So that the the two month period between the loan uh, uh, to Tao uh, finishes, you know, effectively on uh, February seventeenth. We've got the uh, Peter McCormack case coming on February the sixteenth. Uh, we're anticipated that you know EHR data will be um, coming online very soon. The uh, uh, the copyright enforcement letters have been sent out. Like literally, things are moving at a rapid pace. Uh, a rapid pace. Um, just have a quick look. Oh, yeah, 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 graphs here now. Cool, right? Uh, so let's just go through these. We've got a uh, yeah, Bitcoin hash rate. Yeah, yada yada yada. Uh, proof of work. I know it. Yeah, yeah, seen that. Yeah, yeah. Big crash. Yeah, hash rate. Bitcoin. Uh, proof of work. Big crash. Bitcoin. Yeah, just seen those figures. Yeah, hey, uh, average block size by network, nice one. Bitcoin winning, that's what we like. Uh, transactions by network, oh, okay. cool coin just ahead. Uh, transactions per block, cool coin just ahead, but that's because we've got massive data transfers on our network. Oh, come on, I want to see the mining. Come on, coin dance, seriously? Oh, mining is where it is at, folks. You know, all you need to know is in the. Uh, is in these mining uh, pie charts. If CoinDance would ever, maybe, uh, is this due to volume of traffic? I was down for everyone. Everyone else getting serious. Could well be, could well be. Uh, I, I hopped on earlier this morning. Well, not, not this morning, but like, uh, well, I think it was on my phone. Um, you know, just to make sure that it was working and stuff. Haven't seen these figures, but it could well be that. You know, like the uh, the link to the uh, 3.1 gigabyte block um, was kind of like, you know, um, jammed pretty much. But it could well be. Could well be. Shitcoin is getting an education. Well, well. Would you believe it? Um, let's uh, refresh that. Ah. So, uh, anyway. Um... While we're waiting for that to load, we'll have a look at trends.cash. Trends.cash. See what's going on with these apps. Here we go. So this is um, apps ranking by uh, performed actions. So uh, Router SV. Um, again, I've not heard of those, but uh, ranking apps by money spent. Relay X Macking It Hard. TDXP app. BitPick. Wow. Well, you know, um, yeah, money spent. People spending a lot of money on a uh, relay X then. Um, 
Well, tell you what, I mean, let's have a quick look at these uh, apps on uh, Bitcoin Blocks Live then. Here, yeah, charts. This is what we want to have a look at. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, uh, Predict Ecology and Peer Games TDXP app. I mean, TDXP could be uh, been ranking up the charts. Twitch moving up as well. Um, yeah, Air Quality Index, Maps, Sato Play, Scent B. Look at this. And that's a wallet. So, uh, I mean, they're actually above Relay X. You know, I mean, Scent B, uh, Scent B are huge. But uh, again, I mean, they're focused in uh, South Africa at the moment. So, uh, but I mean, I mean, they're again, you know, you can pay all utilities with Scent B. They've got a, an extra uh, pin for your know, extra sort of like security. You've got um, Scent B pay mails now. So, yeah, it's um, it's pretty good, and I, I, I know this sounds a bit, a bit stupid, a little bit slow. I was, I remember thinking to myself, why did they call it um, uh, Scent B? You know, <laughs> it's so stupid. I was just like, what's a, what's a B got to do with the Bitcoin? And I was just like, well, the B, as in the B W E, is just B for Bitcoin, and Scent, as in like sending sending a cent. I was just like, oh, I get it now. <laughs> just a little bit slow. So sent a Bitcoin. You know, the sent B, and then they've used a little B as their logo. I was like, oh, that's actually really good. Like, I get it now. Sent B. <laughs> oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear. You know, you have these moments of clarity all of a sudden, and you get it. <laughs> classic. Classic. Right, uh, coin. Hey! Coin Dance is loaded. Back in business. Right. Uh, <clears throat> Global Asterix, seven days. F2 pool again. Oh, we'll have a look at news on uh, F2 pool in just a minute as well. Uh, F2 pool macking it there. Uh, so 24 hours. You got F2 pool pooling. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Amp pool and Binance and shitcoin enterprises around there. All uh, right, core coin. Um, no tell on there to be seen anywhere. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I've got to load these up again. Might have to keep moving. It's alright if you feel seasick, folks. But it just stops it from uh, shooting up. Uh, so yeah, uh, no towel on Core Coin. Uh, Hathor still on uh, B Crash um, <laughs> for no other reason other than spite. But look at this! Look at this towel! Absolutely macking it on uh, on uh, on Bitcoin and Huobi trying to compete with them as well. Huobi twenty nine point eight, Tau thirty one point two. You know, like they are going for it. They are going for it big time. Um, I mean, now they're, they've had that second loan reimbursement uh, on the 29th of January, so maybe they've increased their mining operations. You know, um, with you know, maybe that uh, maybe that that second loan. You know, um, who knows? But I mean, yeah, mack it, macking it hard. Looking, uh, looking good there. Right. So um, let's just have a quick look at what I uh, sent myself here with regard to uh, F2 pool. Um, uh, I'm sure I sent them to myself. Um, okay, right, let's find this guy. This guy Chun on uh, Twitter. Chun. There we go. Sato Fish. He's got Doge in his profile there for uh, no other reason other than absolutely ripping the piss. Um, right, so let's see what we said here. There's some things I wanted to pick up on. Um, well, I think I mentioned before here where he uh, he appeared to be goading him, like literally not giving him monkeys. Uh, Zoom meeting. Uh huh. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I think I mentioned this before, like, uh, Earthling's intelligence hasn't yet fully developed. Their education system is, has serious problems too. Uh, that's why I just sold $4 billion worth of BTC. Hope to exchange for one-way ticket to Mars. Won't come back to Earth again, just like I won't go back to China. <laughs> uh, and, and check this out as well, look at this. Look at this. He said, um, uh, I used to be too young, too simple. <clears throat> and even at some point naively believe in their don't be evil bollocks. And check this out. So it says a uh, high steak fish, which is him. 
Our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately we think it violates our harmful and dangerous policy. We've removed the following content from YouTube. So again, I mean, uh, you know, telling people that they need to be more intelligent, buying to have a one-way ticket to Mars, and uh, clearly got issues with social media. You know, are these telltale signs? Like, you know, who, who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, so anyway, oh, 40 minutes. Been having too much fun. Uh, so we'll leave it there for the, uh, for the trailer. <laughs> yeah, somebody said there are like Dogecoin uh, adverts going up like all over the place. Like buy Dogecoin, like billboards. Oh my God. Oh my God. You couldn't make it up. Like absolutely hilarious. But um, anyway, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll leave it there, folks. Hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, as ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there, joy giving, same time tomorrow. Catch you later. Get your tweet etched on Twitch, forever on the Bitcoin blockchain. Do it today at www.jointwitch.com. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and watch the full episode on Streamanity for just 20 cents. Go to www.satoshi.tv. See the link in the description below. Bitcoin. One world, one chain. Yeah! One vision.